Welcome back everyone. I think it is time to enter season 3 of F1 2021 My Team. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more F1 2021 My Team. As I just mentioned, season 3 is around here and we are ready to go. So let's get ready to rumble in season 3. So let's see what we can do in the first race of the season which is in Bahrain. So let's move on to the video. Before we continue though I just want to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you are subscribed using the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified when the next video goes live. We are going to continue season 3 straight on through and also more of gaming videos will appear on my channel so please be sure to be subscribed so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for stopping by and let's Let's move on to season three of F1 2021. Now let's take a look here quickly. My car is under the tarp mainly because I have a new vehicle ready for season three of course. We are going to, uh, now that we have money, uh, invest back into the team, uh, get some R&D going because as you guys see here, our vehicle performance is in the middle. We're in the mid table. Alpine, Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, and Red Bull are ahead of us. So we want to make sure that we are competitive. And in order to do that, we need to upgrade some of these uh facilities into spec 3 as you see we still have the old livery on this car mainly because i want to keep it this way for now uh, so that i don't spoil things for you when we release the car let's go with resource point generation and make this number three i think we also want to go resource point generation here because resource points are quite scarce right now so those will come in soon now in the meantime while we wait we do have a lot of resource points there were no re uh, regulation changes so we have a bunch of resource points at the top right as you see so we're gonna go with the cheaper one front wing and plates down force upgrade let's try to get this rushed before the bahrain grand prix can i get this one as well uh perhaps we could try this rushed as well. We'll get two rushed in as fast as we can because that's the only one we can really trigger. Oh, supplier upgrade has arrived regarding powertrain. So new season, uh, new engine supplier as well, which I don't know how to show you guys this, but we're using a Renault engine. It's the exact same specs as a Honda, same price. And I just want to put some variety in the series because it has a different noise sash sound. Uh, compared to the Honda so we can experience that today and here we go we are ready for the car reveal I will show you guys what our car will look like in season 3 let's see how it looks As you see here, the new car looks pretty sleek if you ask me. We kept the icy blue texture uh, color as well and we have this added silver aspect to it and then the icy white going on the car. Also our uniform has changed slightly and of course now that we've revealed the car I will also reveal our new second driver who is none other than Nico Rosberg himself. David Coulthard wasn't really up to par with how he was driving so I decided to opt for someone of similar market value but also similar you know experience and that is Nico Rosberg another F1 legend coming back to the sport and probably also aiming to you know challenge Lewis Hamilton just like he did before his retirement also one thing before I proceed I want to max out all my perks here because we do have the funds for it we're gonna make ourselves a maxed out in this regard and we're ready we're ready to progress with the season as you see also driver changes may be around i think robert schwartzman has signed for aston martin a rookie is with them now uh where's david coulthard coulthard's a free agent at this time so i guess legends cannot sign with another team possibly uh it seems like a bunch of them the legends are just available for my team per se so seems like all the other teams will look for other options elsewhere 
just saying as well, Kimi Räikkönen is still kicking about here in the Alfa Romeo, uh, despite announcing his retirement in real life. Uh, in this simulation, he's still going strong. We got a couple upgrades coming through, I believe. Yes, we have the front wing end plates downforce upgrade coming through just before we move on to the Bahrain Grand Prix. Of course, we're expecting under nose turning vanes soon as well. Our spec upgrades for the facilities have not come through yet, so we cannot really upgrade anything else at this time. So we'll have to wait and see. Okay, spec 3 has just come through, meaning we can probably upgrade more. Yes, we have this one, we have this one. Try to get hydraulics through. Weight redistribution is always a good one, I think. So we'll just get it regularly before the Portuguese Grand Prix, which will be part of the calendar this year. Uh, speaking of which, I will go to through the calendar in a moment. Um, one more upgrade, which I think is the engine power. Engine power is always good. So let's get exhaust in before the Portuguese Grand Prix as well. As promised here, let's take a look at the standing season results. So this is the schedule for this season. Um, it'll be a 16 race season, Bahrain, Portugal, Portimao, Monaco, Azerbaijan, Canada, France, Austria, uh, Great Britain, Belgium, Netherlands, Italy, Russia, Japan, USA, Mexico, and Brazil. So that's 16 races in total. So we'll see how that goes. I think 20 races is a little too much. And also it'll be 21 races, I think, because Portimao got added. But I think it's too much. And I think some of the tracks are just boring. Just DRS trains and no overtaking opportunities. So we got a nice mix in the 16 race season. So without further ado we get another upgrade coming through before the season starts under nose turning veins has come through so we're maxed out on the aerodynamics department meaning i think we are the best in aerodynamics uh indeed we are by the looks of it we have all the upgrades possible uh we are very close to having a fully maxed out car but our r d progress is kind of stable um we may be overtaking alpine as we enter the Bahrain Grand Prix weekend. But let's see how this works out, how we do in Bahrain debut of season three, or rather I should say the opening of season three. Let's go to race weekend and see how well we do in Bahrain. Welcome to qualifying at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Now, a uh, new car, new engine, and new teammate. Results with a bunch of new stuff happening, new noises in the car, which is quite nice. I think the Renault engine sounds very nice on this game. And it has that, you know, special feel to it, if you get what I mean. So, FP1, FP2, FP3, as usual, we did all of our practice programs in FP1. Nico Rosberg, quite fast around the circuit, scoring P4 in FP1. So, I think we got a good teammate in our hands. Hopefully, he can perform during the race. Coulthard was also good during practice and qualifying, but then really dropped off during the race. So, hopefully, Nico Rosberg does better during the race. Uh, we were off the pace for most of the time. We were in the bottom half for most of the practice sessions except for the later stages when we were around the mid table i think we were just behind nico rosberg in fp2 around p11 i think and then in the last uh, fp3 session we were also p11 or p12 well p12 maybe in the fp2 session but fp3 i was p11 uh yeah, what happened was I did all the easy ones, race strategy I did on hards, and then I did uh, tire management on the mediums, and I tried the qualifying pace program on the softs because we always do that. We always want to test out all three compounds, and I think the hard compound tire ain't too bad around here. So we may want to go for a soft hard strategy if possible. Uh, softs seem to die off really quickly. The wear is quite bad around the circuit, so... We will have to see how long we can last on the softs and adjust our strategy um, after that kind of understanding. So let's uh, consider hard compound tires, Nico Rosberg, yeah we said that and yeah I just couldn't get the purple in qualifying pace. We got all our development boosts but uh, yeah I think we have a limited upgrades available to us and that's why we only got one out of nine that we were able to get. So. It is what it is. We move on. Uh, the new car looks nice. Uh, we got new 
uh, decals and then we also got a new artwork on our halo representing a message that we feel like it's quite good to have and it also supports the f1 message that we race as one so let's move on to qualifying hopefully we can have a good session um let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to continue this kind of commentary the pre-qualifying rundown of what practice was like and yeah let's continue uh and see what happens here um i think we may be in with a good chance of knocking some people out and heading on into q2 so let's see um nico rosberg currently mid table somewhere around p10 i guess and let's see where we sit All right, here we go. First lap of qualifying ever. And we sit P13. Okay, okay. I think we want to save these tires for later. So let's bring the car back slowly to the pit lane. I think we should be good. Indeed, we make it through in P13. Max Verstappen with the fastest lap, 122.128. Nico Rosberg in P9, 122.929. Knocked out our Schumacher, Schwartzman, Stroll, Raikkonen, Aitken, and Mazepin as expected. So let's see what happens in Q2. First lap of Q2 doesn't seem all too great. We're last. Let's see if one more lap can do justice. Alright, second lap is two tenths better. Only brings us up to P14. That's a shame. We're going back to the garage and I think we're done for qualifying. So it's not the greatest of positions to start from. Whoa, six tenths improved. We were able to get one last lap in. Where are we? Oh, it's a shame we get knocked out in P13. Max for stepping again with the fastest lap, 121.8. 122.1 was Sergio Perez. Nico Rosberg makes it through in P10. Ocon, Gasly, myself, Sunoda, Russell, and Latifi get knocked out. We are sitting P13 for the first race of the season. Let's see what we can do from P13. Months of rumour and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of Turn 10. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Lando Norris and Ricardo, Leclerc, Sainz, Rosberg and Antonio Giovinazzi, Ocon, Gasly, Ace and Sonoda. Russell, Latifi, Mick Schumacher, and Robert Schwartzman. Stroll, Raikkonen, Aitken, and Nikita Mazepin. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. All right, here we go with the Bahrain Grand Prix in season three. So this is the first race of the season. Let's see what our strategy is looking like. Seems like we can go for a medium to hard strategy. Um, can we go soft to medium, uh, soft to hards? Yes, we can. 
don't think we can go to mediums but that's fine uh seems like the hard compound tire is okay so we'll do 10 laps on the softs and then see out the rest of the race on hards uh we'll drop our fuel load a tad bit because our car is fuel efficient i think uh we'll try we'll risk it we'll risk it all uh level terms on um total laps and fuel so let's get going here here we go with the start of the season new season begins now and away we go in bahrain Wow, great start from us. All right, we're going in for a dive bomb. Whoa, marvelous dive bomb. P7. All right, concentration, max concentration. Vehicle condition. Vehicle condition. Taking care of them. All right. Thought I had wing damage after a minor collision with Leclerc. All right, we are sitting P6 after the first lap. Let's keep this going. Let's push on Leclerc. Hopefully, on the soft compound tire, while they still last. We want to stay within DRS range of Leclerc as well. Um, Well, we dropped outside of DRS range. That's a bit of a shame. And now we got Ricardo right on our bum. Ah, Ricardo's gonna get DRS on us. We're a mid-table team. We gotta remember that, so we gotta choose and pick our battles. Driver in front. Leclerc ahead, gap to car in front is 2.6 seconds, they're on old softs, their tires are two laps old, we think they've got two stops remaining, the oh, time last lap Jesus. was a 1 minute 25.9, um, you're down 8 tenths a lap. Um, safety car, Valtteri Bottas is also out, Carlos Sainz is also out. Speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty, slow your pace immediately. Um, what just happened? We just lost five cars. Schwartzman's out. Teammate is in the pits. Pit stop information. Only one stop to go. One stop left in this strategy. Six laps until your pit window is open. Box this lap. All right, we're tipping in to the pits for the safety car. We're adjusting our strategy to fit on the mediums, and then we'll try to get another set of mediums going uh, towards the end of the race, or maybe even a new set of softs. Let's see if we have a new set of softs. I think we should, or a relatively fresh pair of softs. 3.1 seconds, Yike Rooney's. We will be behind Raikkonen. Okay, you only have to stop once now. Once oh, we do have new softs. We'll see how long these mediums last. And then we'll adjust our strategy accordingly. Alright, safety cars coming in as they announced.
Alright, green flag running. Decent restart. I kind of mistimed it. Oh my god, someone's going around my outside. Whoa, Raikkonen just overtook on the outside the track, but that's fine. Raikkonen has a 3 second time penalty. Man, what a result. A P8 right now. Gotta push, gotta push, come on. Whoa, Schumacher and Perez going for it. Took Schumacher there. Vehicle condition. Nice overtake. Thanks, Joe. Taken damage to the side pods. Expect to feel a little drag. No need to worry about tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. There's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. Yeah, our side pod damage doesn't look all too bad, but we'll keep an eye on it. Oh, Perez got a nice exit out of there. Oh my god. I have screen freezes left, right, and center. Deep dive. Nice. Gasly taken. I think I can get Russell here. Can we get Russell here? Boom. Let's get him. See ya, Russell. Alright, we're P2. Perez is leading. Oh dear. Sergio Perez deserves driver of the day, man. Seriously, he's extending that gap massively. We're now three and a half seconds ahead of Giovinazzi as well. Uh, pit window opens in lap 20. Yep, my tires are pretty much dead. We're going in now because we are losing time to Norris massively. Be aware the car behind has newer tires. Car behind on newer tires. Here we go. Into the pits for soft compound tires. We're going in early by a lap. Hopefully we can get right behind Norris and ahead of Hamilton. Please, boys, give me a good pit stop. One point something. Ah, uh, slow! 3.1, we're behind Hamilton then. 100% behind Hamilton. No, not behind Hamilton. Just ahead of Hamilton. Come on, let's chase down Norris. This is an opportunity here. Fastest lab, let's go! 124.9 That's the way we do it here Catch Norris, let's go Oh, yellow flag Is that Hamilton? Hamilton's gone Why are we boxing? No, I'm not boxing Hamilton's out, oh my god What's going on?
Damn it, Max Verstappen stole my fastest lap. I think Max Verstappen is last. Isn't he dead last? What happened to him? I don't know. But what a boring Grand Prix. I've been sitting in P3 now for the longest time. Lando Norris got some pace from somewhere, I don't know. So there's no way we're catching him. Giovinazzi is slowly falling back as well. So must it looks very much like a P3 finish. And I had a lot of screen freezes like that one. Don't know what's wrong. Let's go. Alright, final lap of the Grand Prix. Teammate status. Gap to teammate behind is 9.3 seconds. They're on old mediums. They're in fifth. The time last lap was a 1 minute 27.1. He's in P5. So that's a good result. Rosberg already doing miles better than David Coulthard. Hopefully he can catch Giovinazzi. Let's hope. Alright. Main mission is to not get any penalties and bring back the car safely back home. P3 is decent. Podium for Stardust off this season. Oh my god, lock up. Yeah, tires have died off real quick. I think we should avoid softs at all costs next time around. Alright, Sergio Perez wins the Grand Prix. Less than a lap oh. now. The tank is empty. Come on, Rosberg. Get Giovinazzi, please. And there we go, we're crossing the line P3. What a result. Nice finish, P3. Great drive, great drive. We're really happy with that performance. A fantastic team effort then to secure victory here in the desert. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Congratulations to Sergio Perez who had insane pace. Lando Norris as well. We made a mistake of coming in too late for a pit stop for softs. We should have gone for mediums early on when we were still 25-26 seconds out of Norris. But I'm happy with a P3 finish considering we're a mid-table team. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Ace. They demonstrated a very delicate touch in close proximity to other cars, as well as showing a lot of maturity and patience in difficult situations. So yeah, I changed my name to Ace. So everyone's going to call me Ace now. So let's see. Sergio Perez and Norris on the podium alongside myself. P13 to, three is, P13 to P3 is good enough to secure me driver of the day. 124.9 is a decent record considering all the drivers on the uh, on the uh, grid. Verstappen, who misses out on a podium, stole my fastest lap. Giovinazzi, Rosberg, Ocon, Leclerc, Sunoda, Russell, and Gasly round out the points finishers. What a race from Rosberg to get P5. Um, Verstappen, Stroll, Schumacher, Raikkonen, who had a time penalty, Aiken, Mazepin, and uh, that's it. Those are the finishers with Hamilton, Ricardo, Botta, Sainz, Latifi, Schwartzman, all getting knocked out somehow dnf let's see take a look at the standings nothing really should change compared to the grand prix uh, result because it's the first grand prix of the season as well as in the constructors we're p2 tied with red bull excuse me that is amazing mercedes at the bottom with haas aston martin and alfa romeo after not scoring any points today apparently so that is quite an interesting development 
So that is an interesting constructor standings to see how that evolves over the course of the season. What a Grand Prix to start us off. That was full of excitement in the early stages and then it got boring and now I just kept driving in a P2 and then driving in P3 after making a mistake with my pit stop. But overall it was a great start to the race getting massive positions early on also shoving somewhat wide i think it was another mercedes or something that went wide but yeah the soft compound tire aren't isn't the greatest as soon as you have the opportunity you need to move off of those softs and i think medium and hards are the optimum tires for uh bahrain so next time i come here i think i'm gonna start on the softs if i must and then move on to mediums immediately i put my bet on the mediums too many times and I think uh, that's what cost us today. If I had gone for the mediums, I think I could have stayed ahead of Norris and gotten P2 at least. Perez with a stunning drive up front. He had a race of his own. No one was able to rival him and we were sitting P3. So it's a good start to the season. Let's hope we can keep this momentum going. Rosberg as well showing why we should have put faith in him earlier. Uh, he has already scored points for us in day one. So that is great to see. Hopefully he can build on that and we can really push for P4 or even top three on the constructors despite being a mid-table team. Upgrades coming through as well. So we will hope for for a good result with new upgrades coming in. So thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Season 3. Season 3 is going to continue, so please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified when the next video goes live. F1 2021 My Team will continue, so please join this community as well as stay subscribed to the channel so you're notified when I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for stopping by today. Please stay healthy. Please stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video of mine. Take care until then. So